So how much does it cost to rent a condo in Bangkok? How far does your money go? Well, it's 2024 and it's time. It's been a while since I've done a condo tour video for you guys. So we're going to look at a few different places with a few different budgets. And I'm just gonna kind of show you the process of what it's like to rent a place here. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you how you could uh, work with uh, Noi, who we're about to meet to tour us through this place, which is building number one. Let me just get behind the camera. This place is called Quinn Sukhumvit 101. It's right beside Punawiti BTS station. Punawiti is only 15 minutes by SkyTrain to a soak, but it feels like a totally different world. If you're looking to live amongst the local Thais and enjoy a quieter version of Bangkok, then I'd highly recommend it. Punawiti and the next stop on the BTS called Udom Souk are neighborhoods that offer cool markets, great street food, and plenty of nice restaurants and bars. If I was looking for a new place to live right now, this is where I think I'd choose. So I'm really curious to see what the condo looks like inside. Okay. All right. Oh, this building looks pretty new, but we need an agent. Noe, get in here. So this is Noe. Uh, you guys might remember her. She helped me find my place. You've been helping a lot of my viewers find places, also, eh? Oh, yes. Yeah, nice. Yeah. How you been? I'm good, thank you. Yourself? I'm good. I'm excited to see what's uh, going on. This is Quint Sukumwit 101. This room is one bedroom, 35 square meter. They also have two bedroom, one bath, 55 square meter. And two bed, two bath, 70 square meter. So they have three different sizes yes. here. Do you mind giving us a little tour? Yeah, sure. This room is one bedroom, 35 square meter. 370 square feet for the Americans out there. Asking price is 25, 23. Oh, you could get it for 23,000. Yes. But you have everything. You have fridge, cooking, bedroom, bathroom. And it comes completely furnished? Yes, full furnished. Is it a brand new building? It's brand new, it's just two years old. So they're still filling it up. That's right. So this is a one bedroom, 25,000 baht. Yes. And then uh, what other units are in this building? They also have two bedroom, one bath, 55 square meter. And how much sizes. is that one? Uh, 35,000 baht. What other units are in this building? They also have two bed, two baths. So this place is two bedrooms, nice, Noi. This is the biggest room that they have here. This two, is the biggest one. Yeah. Two nice bedrooms, little. two bathrooms, 70 square meter, living room in the middle. Kitchen is, look at this. You don't see this too often. How much is this one? 55,000 baht a month, Six. 70 square meter. Okay, now there's no furniture in here. Is it unfurnished? Landlord will provide everything when you rent it. So they will furnish it. And does it have washing machine? Yes, yes. Let's take a look at the bedrooms here. This is the guest room this with the queen side bed. The mattress will be provided. Nice closet space here. Yeah, nice finishing, clean, modern. Definitely my style. This one is the this is like the master bedroom. Master bedroom. Oh, nice little desk, work area. Yeah. Wait, noise. This, the, the this other. Is, yeah, that's the master. The, I look, can't. Noise calling timeout. You're not allowed to call timeout, <laughs> noise. This is how it goes. So here's the second bathroom yeah, over here. I, I, yeah, <laughs> this is the guest room. Actually, that, my, that, my bath, sorry. That's okay, <laughs> Noi, that's the guest yeah. room. Look at the size of this place. Very How many, nice. 70 square meters. 70. See, for me, a two bedroom at 70 square meters, that's the magic number for me. You got the balcony out here. This part of Bangkok's a lot flatter, eh, Noi? Not as many condos out here. Someone who doesn't want to be in the crowded place like 
Asok Nana. They like to, they ask me to, to find a unit in this area because you have everything. You have through digital park, supermarket, buy tech, convention hall, and you still like can go to the town within 15 minutes. Oh yeah, there's True Digital Park there. That's a cool place. I love this neighborhood. And does the building have amenities? Swimming pool, fitness gym, rooftop lounge. Can we take a look at that? Sure. So this is Sky Lounge, multi-purpose room. This is co kitchen where you can invite people or friends for the party, pool table, co-working space. Upstairs, they have the theater and the garden. No, you didn't tell me there'd be this much exercise today. Yeah. <laughs> that was like a double staircase. Oh, so this is a room. This, this is a place where you can chill. Yeah, one of the cool things about Bangkok condos is they, they do lots of cool rooftop spaces. Even though the units can be quite small, the common spaces allow you to kind of have friends over and really expand on what you can do. No, I, there was too many stairs. Yeah. Can we show them the pool now? Oops. <laughs> so, one of our customers also stay here. What's his name? Corey. Shout out to you, Corey. So this is the pool area? Yeah. You see, this swimming pool allows you to have sun almost all day because the sun will like going this way late afternoon. Yeah, be nice sunsets here. Yeah, and you still have a shade out here. If you don't want to like facing the sun all day, you still can lay in the shade. No, I'd be in the shade. I'm more of a shade seeker. Do you like it in the shade or in the sun? I prefer in the shade. You like but it? But I don't mind swimming in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Swim in the sun, <laughs> yeah. relax in the shade. This is a gym. Here, you see they have a very nice machine. Very oh, wow. high tech. Yeah, look at this. That's high tech. I've never seen these ones before. Look at these bad boys. Okay, so Noi, that's interesting. Out here, Puna Witty. Should we go check out the second building? Sure. We just left the security here, and there's Punawiti BTS station. No, I gotta say for me, living super close to a BTS changes the game in Bangkok. Yeah. It just makes everything better. Look at that. And in. You're on. So even if it was pouring rain, you can get on there. Should we go look at another building? Yeah, we go to the Tonglor now. Tonglor now. Let's see what it costs over there. No, you were just telling me that when you come out here, there's a good Thai Chinese place. I like to give people recommendations. It's been here for 40 years, and their quality of the food is brilliant. Is that it, Hua Sang Hong? Yeah, that's one. So if you come out with Noi to look at condos in Puna Witty, she's going to take you to this place. I'm going to bring Haley there one day. Next, we're heading to perhaps the hippest neighborhood in Bangkok, Tonglor. I got a lot of friends who live here and love it. It's got more expats living here, but it's also super popular amongst local Thais. To fully enjoy Tonglor though, you're gonna need to spend a bit more money because a lot of places here cater to the rich locals and your bar bills can easily add up. Rent's also higher here, but let's see what you get for your money. So this is the end of the skywalk here. You know, it's absolutely super luxurious if your building is attached to a skywalk. There's Sukhumvit down there. Tonglor BTS, you can see, just a short distance back there. And noise leading us to the next place. Siri at Sukhumvit. No more than 100 meters from the Tonglor BTS. These cute kids go into the 7-Eleven vending machine. Doesn't get much more Thai than that. Okay, so pretty standard. You got your kitchen, your living room. This building seems a little bit older, not quite as brand new as the last building. This one is like 10 years old building. This is 74 square meter, two bedrooms, two bed, two bath, 55,000 baht a month. 55,000? Yeah, it comes furnished. Everything that you see in here? 
Yes. What about things like dishes, coffee makers? Like, what do you uh, see out there? That one can be offered by the landlord. Here is the swimming pool and fitness. A huge pool deck, definitely for sun seekers. Oh wait, all of the lounge chairs have their own personal shade hatches that you can just pull <laughs> your own shades. So Noe, while I got you beside this beautiful pool, I'm curious, like what's going on in 2024 with prices, anything different? During the COVID time, this place is rented for 30, 35 for two bedrooms. Now everything resumed and the price seemed to be like... Going up a little going bit? Going up a little bit. Have you been busy lately with a lot of customers so oh, far? Yeah, I'm so busy right now. Do you get some customers from retired working wow, for you? Oh, a lot. Yeah, uh -huh. it seems like you're out every week with people. Almost every day, not every week. Oh, every, every day. day, yes. What areas are people looking for these days? Mostly, I will say from planted to Udomsuk. What sort of budgets are people shopping around with these days? Like some of your most recent customers, how much have they my, spent? My customer, my, their budget is between 35 to 60. And what's the most expensive one that any of your recent customers have 150, rented 150. 150? Yes. Oh, I want to know who that baller is. Who are you? <laughs> yeah, he will tell you. <laughs> shout out to you and shout out to everyone who's been using it. I'm going to tell you guys how you can work with Noi, but mm -hmm. Noi, we got one more building to show them. Yeah. Let's run. The last condo we're going to see is in Prom Pong. This is the neighborhood right beside Ahsoka and Nana. There's still a huge international vibe with lots of expats, but much less tourists, and the street activity is far less unscrupulous. One of my best friends just moved here and describes it as the neighborhood where you can find anything and everything. I asked Noi to show me what a nice, luxurious two-bedroom condo looks like here in Prom Pong. This is where we're going. This place is fancy. This place is called The Diplomat. It's very presidential, Noi. I have a feeling that this place might be the most expensive of the three, but uh, let's look at the unit. We'll get Noi to tell us how much it would cost to live at The Diplomat. Oh, okay. So, Noi, we're now like George Jefferson. I'm moving on up. The, the first word I think of here is like luxury. Is, is this place brand new? Uh, five years old. Oh, five years old. Tell me about the unit, though. This unit is 77 square meter, two bathroom, two bathroom, and it comes with fully furnished. How much is it? 79,000 baht a month. Oh, so that's the most expensive of the day. So so why? What, what are you paying for in here? You're paying for the luxury and the quality of the building and the location. When I walked in, it felt almost like a bit of a five-star hotel vibe. Wow, they provide a service. It's more like the five-star hotel. They have a concierge service where they can bring the food up here. If I get food panda, they'll bring it all the way to my room? If you are lazy, you can just call them to bring it up. And what else does concierge do for tenants They here? can help you to call the taxi, to call tuk-tuk or whatever you want. So that's also what you're paying for a little bit here, I guess? Yeah. And 12-month uh, lease? Yes, 12-month lease. Yeah. Well, that reminds me, Noi, I get a lot of people out there that write in. You guys are writing in a lot saying, hey, can I get to Noi to help me find a place for like three months, one month, six months. Um, to work with an agent like you, like you got to be looking for a 12 month lease, 12 right? Month. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. You're not going to get uh, to be able to work My, with. My uh, landlord will always require for 12 months. 
at they, least. They always want a 12-month mm -hmm. lease. So, oh, no, so note to you, if you're looking for like shorter term, I always recommend like you go on Airbnb, yeah. Agoda. Service department. Yeah, service departments. Yeah. There's definitely options for that. But to work with like a high-end talented agent like mm -hmm. Noi, you got to be looking for a 12-month lease. Should we head up and look at the amenities? Sure. Rooftop forest. What do people do up here? Just come to chill. See what I mean? This place has like a five-star hotel vibe to it. A sitting room. Oh, what's in here? This is fitness. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> I thought it ended, but this one goes on and on. Tell me about Prom Pong. Why do people want to live in Prom Pong? Oh, uh, this is kind of convenient place. It's just like less than five minutes walk, you get into SkyTrain, Prom Pong Station, and then Emcourt here, Emporium, Benta Benta City. Siri. Yeah, Benta and, City. And Park. the new mall, the M Sphere. The, yeah, the so M Sphere. M sphere. No. M sphere. M sphere. Yeah. I try to correct this one. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. M sphere. M sphere, yeah. So Noi, three good condos. Thanks for showing us around. What do you think of these guys out here who've been all coming and renting condos with you? How have they been? Have they been treating you okay? You talking about yourself? No, no, no. <laughs> well, I, I don't want to hear about that. But all the people that came to you oh, from the videos. Because they, I think they, they know me from the video, right? So when they come to see me, they, they, like, they know me already. But yeah. yeah, so it's kind of relaxed. Talking yeah. to them is not like customer or they don't treat me like I'm a service yeah. person. If we hook you up with Noi, you got to treat her nice. Thank you, Noi. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. We'll see who comes after watching this video. Let me just, without Noi, tell you guys. So basically, RW for you real estate. If you are looking for a condo, here's the rules. You got to be serious. You got to be looking for a place like, you know, within the next month or so. If you're looking for something six months out, Noi's too busy to just take everyone on for, for kind of scouting missions. So for those of you, when you're ready to pull the trigger on a condo, reach out, connect at Retired Working For You. There's someone named Ray who's going to respond to you, get some more details about what you're looking for. And then uh, if you're a good fit, we're going to hook you up with Noi. And uh, you can go shop and kind of like we did today. Noi will show you a bunch of places. Then you can rent the condo of your dreams here in Bangkok. We get a lot of people writing in and we only take on as many people as we can. So uh, when you're serious, when you're ready, hook us up. Connect at Retired Working for you and uh, we'll do our best to help you out. Cheers.